Scotland's largest health board is launching a campaign to stop smoking on its hospital grounds. Greater Glasgow and Clyde is erecting more obvious signs and areas will be patrolled by wardens. In the past year there will be people standing around smoking despite our policy saying you weren't allowed to. So you can see that we've got this much, much better signage. It's impossible to ignore that you're being told you cannot smoke in this area. A North Sea oil installation shut down after breaking its anchor in rough seas two years ago is back in production. Two people suffered minor injuries in the incident involving the Griffin Alpha in February 2011. A bill has been introduced to the Scottish Parliament aimed at overturning a ban on overseas loans from the Burrell Collection, which was a stipulation at the bequest of the shipping magnate Sir William Burrell. Glasgow City Council, which is promoting the bill, wants to be able to loan items to help raise funds for a renovation. Details of the 67th Edinburgh International Film Festival have been announced. This year's event features almost 150 films from more than 50 countries. It's the second under its latest director, who's been credited with helping the festival regain its status. I think uh, the festival does show signs of being on an upswing. Uh, our relationships with the, uh, the UK film industry, which are so important to us uh, in, in, in creating our program and bringing films here, uh, has been very positive this year. So uh, I think there's, there's been good signs all around.